Hey guys, it's Crystal and welcome to my home theater setup tour sponsored by LG. It's 4K, it's OLED, it's got a bunch of the latest tech, so let's check it out. So there's a lot going on here, but the LG C9 65 inch OLED TV and the SL10Y soundbar is really the centerpiece of it all. And this TV size is kind of perfect for this apartment because obviously the 65 inches and the almost bezel-less display makes watching movies and playing games super enjoyable. But even though it's so big, it doesn't take up much space because it's super thin. Now the fact that it's thin is obviously really cool, but what I absolutely love the most about this TV is how amazing it looks. And if you never experienced OLED on a TV, it's pretty cool because you get the truest blacks, colors pop, you get the best amount of shadow detail. And this TV also supports most forms of HDR like Dolby Vision, HDR10, so you're gonna enjoy Netflix, Disney+, Plus, or some of my latest YouTube videos. So image quality is one thing, but when it comes to sound, the TV speakers are pretty solid on their own, but when you pair it with this sound bar, you get Dolby Atmos, and I've been using this combination for Stranger Things, which has been amazing. I would kind of say it's almost like HDR for your ears because you're hearing sound in a new way. Instead of left to right, you get more spatial separation. And the soundbar itself actually has two upfront speakers, so it reflects sound off the ceiling, which is pretty crazy. This soundbar is also really powerful. It outputs up to 570 watts, so I definitely find myself having to turn it down sometimes. And right now I have it hooked up to HDMI, so that 4K pass-through is really handy. But you can also connect it via Bluetooth and control it through Google Assistant. Now going back to the TV, it takes being a smart TV to a whole new level. Inside here, there's actually an Alpha 9 Gen 2 processor, and what that does, it enables AI to enhance not only picture quality, but sound quality as well. Now the TV is also powered by Google Assistant and Alexa, but my favorite part of the whole AI experience is the control that you get with the Magic Remote, specifically by voice. Open Netflix. The Netflix app. Cool. Switch to game mode. Changing video and sound to game mode. Now LG's WebOS is super clean looking and really easy to navigate through. And if you didn't want to add a separate streaming box, it supports pretty much all of the major streaming apps. On top of that, you also get support for AirPlay and HomeKit, which means I can now control my TV with my HomePod. So with HomeKit enabled, I have control by voice for everything through my HomePod. So if I'm preparing to watch a movie, I can do things like saying, hey, turn the TV on. Turning on the living room TV. And of course, we got to turn off the lights. So hey, turn off the lights. There we go, ready to watch a movie now. Now getting into the rest of the setup, the TV is sitting on this beautiful West Elm media console. It's modern, clean looking, definitely fits with the rest of the vibe that I have going on here. It's 80 inches long, which is kind of the perfect size for the 65 inch TV because it leaves some room on the sides. I try to keep it pretty clean on the sides, but to the left of it, I have the Drop Excel by Native Union, which is a really nice looking wireless charging pad. It's not air powered, but it's still really clean and sleek looking. It has two spots for wireless charging, so put my AirPods Pro, iPhone next to it, and it even has a USB -A port on the back so I could plug in my watch charger. Now when it comes to lighting, also trying to keep it pretty simple. There's really only three lights in my entertainment setup. The first one is that vintage hue bulb to the left in that lamp that looks really cool, but the best part is that you can dim it. On the back of the TV, there's two Hue Play light bars directly mounted onto there. And again, they look great, super simple to set up and way easier than dealing with light strips. The lights are then paired with the Hue Sync, which is this really cool box that allows your lights to react to whatever you're watching or playing and turns it into a light show. Now what makes this unique is the fact that it has a true 4K pass-through, so even though I have my Apple TV hooked up to it and my Xbox, I'm not sacrificing resolution or HDR or Dolby Atmos. It's exactly the same as it would be if it were directly hooked up to the TV. So AirPlay on this TV is awesome, but I also went with an Apple TV 4K to get direct access to iTunes because there's so many 4K HDR movies and TV shows on there. This allows me to fully take advantage of this display, which makes it amazing for watching TV shows and movies, but it's also great for gaming, which is why I have it paired to an Xbox One X. 
It's a really smooth experience, and if you want it to get even crazier, it'll work great with a PC as well. So that's my current entertainment setup, and again, big thanks to LG for making this possible. If you want to check out the TV and soundbar for yourself, I got those links down below. But again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.